two, one. And hello, we are live. <coughs> hello, everybody. It's Thursday night. And it's a going to be a fun, fun night tonight. This is going to be a craft show. It's going to be live. And I will be chatting with people in the chat room. So I will, will be doing some art and they'll be telling me what to do. And I will be chatting with them. So if you're watching this at a later time and you want to zip through the boring parts to get through the fun parts or to the interesting parts, I encourage you to do so. And that's how we do this. They, I, ta I will be interacting with the chat room so let's see who's coming in this more this evening let's see who we can get so i hope everybody's doing well <coughs> turn that thing down <laughs> okay so we did this the other night, um, Tuesday, and it turned out really, really cute. Um, we started out with the mailbox, and um, I didn't get, I got the tree done and the background done, and then um, we decided to add the bird, and I added a mail sack to the bird, so we got a couple of letters going on and we got some happy mail down here being delivered by the rabbit. <laughs> and I think I need to put an eye in the rabbit. He wasn't <clears throat> quite finished, but almost. And this is our inspiration from the other day. We did Harry, our little hair. And he was sitting up here giving me encouraging words. <laughs> So, hi, Terry. Hi, Deb. Hi, guys. What y'all doing? What are you guys doing? I've been just playing all day in some of this stuff. Let's see what I can do here. But I think I'm going to do something like this tonight. I know it's kind of a blurry picture, and it really doesn't do it justice, but it'll be prettier on my pad, so I'll get that going here in a minute. But this is what we did the other night that I finished. Oh, I was going to put uh, some more lettering on my mailbox i got beth and joe <laughs> rainy and cold it's been overcasty here today overcast all day so i just sort of printed our names on here like that Do a little stitching here. So, thirty eight in rain. Supposed to dry out a little. Be more warmer tomorrow. Yeah, I think it was only like 65 today. Almost 70. It wasn't bad, too bad other than it was overcast. So... Anyway, I'm going to continue to felt tonight. I think I really, I'm really enjoying it. 
And then I'm going to try to go through and find all the felt pieces that I've done. I've done quite a few. Hi, Joyce. What you doing, girl? I'm getting Joe's name on the mailbox. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Oh, you're painting in Terry's painting in her journal. Good, good. I kind of miss crafting in my journal. But we'll get to it in due time, due time. Okay, how's that? I can see it. I can see it. Okay, now, I've misplaced all my scissors, I think. I have. They've, they've all walked away. Beth, when are we going to have time for the dog tags? I know, Terry. We have been, I've been promising that for months. I have. Shall I put the timer on? I think I need a timer in here. If I do it, if I get a timer, I'm gonna get one. I could put the timer on the clock, on the on my watch or my my uh, phone. Use a timer <laughs> and give myself, you know, a half hour for this and a half hour for that. How about that? We're looking at a picture of Abby. Are you still looking at a picture of Abby? You still is it Abby off now? That was when you before you came in. <laughs> Deb's fighting with the cat on the chair. Uh-huh. They were, Joyce. They were really a lot of fun. And I have the book ready for the dog tags to start. And I've got the napkins and everything. <laughs> okay, you switched it over. Okay. Well, this is what we did Tuesday. And I finished it up. And this was the bird that I had uh, already made up. And I put wings on them and added a mail bag. So, uh, and then I did the rabbit in the bottom down here. And I'm going to do one little eyeball. I need to do one little thing for his eye. I'm going to have to limit myself. Uh, limit my time. So that I'll have time to do different things. And that's our problem. We like to do everything. We just like to do it all. And uh, it's a good thing. It's not bad. Nothing bad. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank goodness it's nothing really, really bad. We just like to do it all. So anyway, there's my rabbit. I know. Well, it just, it's just good to know that we're not finished. <laughs> we're just not finished with our work yet. So I'm going to put this one aside. Here's, a, here's our owl. That turned out real cute. And the bee. I put the bee in there. So that was good. That's good. That's good. So let me get. I'm going to, I'm going to start a piece tonight. And I'm going to have to start it on a, a, a part of a sheet. <laughs> That's okay. We can do this. It doesn't matter how big our surface is. But I saw this picture today. 
and I was really, really happy with it. I, and I said, I'd like to try that. <laughs> I'd like to try, try doing this one. It's a sunset. So you do the background first. So it's going to be purples and blues and pinks and then oranges and yellows and then the ground. And I'm going to do it on this piece right here. We're going to do this for a few minutes and then maybe holler at me when it's eight o'clock and we'll do a dog tag at eight. How about how about that? You all time me at eight o'clock. We'll do a dog tag. We'll take a break and do a dog tag. That sounds fair. Maybe y'all can help me. So I'm going to do a sunset sky. Whoop, 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 whoop. Thank you. I knew you all would help me out. You guys will help me, won't you? We got to stick together. <laughs> we just got to. Now I want to get some purple. And a little bit of fuchsia. Oh, that'll be good. But I really have enjoyed all this felting stuff. I've, I've had a ball. I really have. Um, I just like doing it. It just, it's just, I love it. So this is good to know. <laughs> I did get my cable in today for my, for my, uh, for the garage. I had to get a new cable to run from the computer in here into the garage. So it's 50 foot long. So I'm hoping it'll reach. Surely it'll reach. Surely. And I am going to use some greens down here at the bottom for the heel side. Ground cover. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go real fast on this so that we can get her done. And then I want to put some yellows and oranges in the middle for that sunset look. Oh, movie flashback. No nap today. I didn't have one either, Cheryl. Maybe I'll sleep good tonight. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Matt. Deb, don't call me Shirley. Shirley. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put, put all of these landscapes in my fabric journal that I made. Lisa started a fabric journal, so I made one too. And and, and this is a perfect place for all my felting projects to go into. So, yeah, this is the picture I'm, I'm kind of going by tonight. I'm doing the background right now. I'm doing the sky. And that's first. The tree is the last thing that you put on. And it's going to be on top. And it's going to be thick and bumpy and 3D textured. So that's what I'm doing. Now I need to, I need to, if I'm going to do that at eight, I got to clean my desk up a little bit as I go. <laughs> I got so much on my desk. <laughs> Some of them should be framed, you think? Well, probably. Probably. 
But I can always just bring out the whole book and, and show off the book. If somebody comes over, I can just take the whole book with me and say, look what I did. <laughs> yes, I do. I have a desk under there somewhere. I really do. I got all kinds of goodies down in here. I do. <laughs> Yeah. Um I might take my fox, the one the big one that I did the whip felting on, and I'm thinking about maybe putting it in the living room on the mantel. And uh I thought that would be good. I'm rolling up wool <laughs> and putting it in my basket because I have too much out. I'm going to be needing the black and the dark brown. I'm, I was actually trying to get down to the yellow. I found the yellow. Yay! Here's the yellow. We'll put some sunset in there. But this is going to be really, really cute. It's not going to be as big as the picture, but it's going to be cute like that. You'll see. You know I can do it. I'll I'll try anyway. I'll give her a good try. And there's no need to put a whole lot down here in the middle because I'm gonna have a tree in there. Kind of scoot that up so you can see it all. Okay. Airplane. Oh, I see you're making a picture on your phone. Some should be framed. Posted on my Facebook page. You posted something that you did today. Okay, I'll check it. Cheryl posted something. I would love to see it above the mantle. Yeah, it would be pretty up there. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I've got a really pretty uh, fireplace mantle. We got a double. It's a double-sided fireplace. And we've only used it one time. We smoked the house up. It was smoky for two weeks. And we've never fired it up since. <laughs> when we first moved into the house we tried the fireplace out just to see what it was just because we could you know it was ours and there wasn't any reason why we couldn't so we did and and it uh, smoked out the back side of it because it's a double-sided fireplace you have to get the fire exactly in the middle <laughs> and it can't be too big it can't be too big of a fire and um uh, where we lived up in Kentucky, we used fireplaces and, you know, you didn't, if you're going to do a fire, you're going to make it warm, right? <laughs> no. Uh, wait a minute. Yes, 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 yes. I got it. I got it. Uh, I got it today. Yes, I did. I got happy mail, guys. <laughs> Rabbit trail. We have a trail, and I've got one out. I'm getting ready to send one out to Mary or to uh, Sharon. You know, Sharon did the post the mailbox that she's going to give to Mary, and she's they're asking for um, love mail to put in the mailbox. So if you all want to send Sharon some postcards to send to uh, Mary for the mailbox, that'd be cool. Anyway. Deb sent me some happy mail, and I love every bit of it. And I think I'm going to start putting it in my uh, my stencils. I love these. Aren't these the cutest things you ever saw? <coughs> I love the neutral colors. And she sent me a little glassine bag with some little ribbons, little bows in it. And some cute little things. And a little bird. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, that's a sticky. That's a sticker. Mm-hmm. That's cute. That'll be nice. 
We might have to put some of this on the dog tag. Ooh, maybe we can do a doggy tag with some of this. <coughs> Since we're going to do a doggy tag here in a little bit. And she sent me some really cool pictures. I love this type of pictures. And I thought about doing a felting something like this. Wouldn't that be cool <clears throat> to felt? And she sent me an old postcard. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. <coughs> maybe since we're doing the mail thing with the mailbox, maybe we can do a um, something with the mail with the dog on the dog tag and put mailing stuff on it. This would look cute and these would look cute with it. Some of these. And I love this paper here with the old ads. Love it. And then it's got, it's reversible. Yeah. So thank you, Deb. I love all of the, I love, and I love this. Oh my gosh. That would be cute behind the puppy. So I'm going to, I'm going to put this in the dog tag <coughs> book. And these, these I can turn into tags. And uh, where we went. And I love the list, the checklist. Cute, 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 cute. Trip information. <laughs> That's cute. So thank you very, very much. I do appreciate that. And I love every bit of it. Yep. Thanks for reminding me, too. And I do have uh, the, 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 the dog tag book behind me. I'll have to get up to get it, but I'll get it. So you remind me at 8 o'clock that I have to stop. You all got a job to do now. So I don't think I need any of this. And I don't think I need this collar. Or this collar. I've made a mess on my table. Yes. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate it very, very much. And uh, the mailman did bring it. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to be using a little bit more greens. The hillside's going to be kind of up and down. Like thatched. <laughs> like a thatch. <gasps> okay. A lot of tidbits. I have to put them someplace special. Can you see it? Okay. Hi, Deborah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are you, Deborah? <laughs> what was it I did the other day? And I mentioned Deborah. I did something. I did something with some of your happy mail or something. And I had you and I mentioned you, but I don't remember now what it was. But I was thinking about you just to know, just to let you know. Have you been doing any more videos lately, Deborah? She likes to do videos. If y'all want to subscribe to her, and I don't mind if y'all pipe in and want to subscribe to each other. If you want to say that you have a channel too. Oh, the rabbit. So, uh, you guys can be cordial with each other. If anybody else has a channel that they want to promote.
think we're doing a, a felting page for till eight o'clock and then we're going to do a dog <laughs> we've switched we're switching from rabbits to dogs did you see the mailbox that i finished deborah i showed it off already Now, I, I laid all this down, and I'm just sort of tacking it down all over so that it doesn't fly off. So, I'm just going over this sporadically to tack it down with the multi-tool. And it's got seven needles in it, I think. And these are the fine needles. They're not real heavy. But they work real good at getting things down in a hurry so that's good oh good Cheryl You do? You have videos to upload? Okay. The last time I watched one of your videos, you did some pretty jewelry. And I think you made them for your daughter? For her birthday or something? Did I remember right? I did remember right. Yay! Isn't that funny how some things, some things I can remember and other things I'm just like, sometimes disease. I get that sometimes disease all the time. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit more down on my background. To make it, to make it purtier. Let's see what we got down here. I think, yeah, here's some more green. Because I, you can still see the the base is a is a pink felt, and I don't mind a little bit of it showing, but I want to try to get a little bit more of it covered up, so I can put some more feathery layers out, which is my favorite thing to do, to do these little layerings. Total favorite. And I'm using about four or five different shades of green. They're all different, believe it or not. I don't know if you can tell on the screen or not. See, there's two shades right there. And then this one's a blend. So I'm mixing my grasses up. And it's an, it's an evening scene, so everything can be kind of on the dark shade. Because uh, the sun's going down. Good, good. And I also have, I have another... This is my three prong, my three needle tool. And it's got it's got bigger needles on it than the uh, the other one. The other one's got smaller needles. 
So this is the big one. You have to do it kind of slow. And you have to go in straight and come out straight. Because you got three needles. And we don't want to break any of them. How's that looking there so far? I think I want some more. And some of this. This is a real pretty dark olive. Love it. Good. And this is a light olive <laughs> if i keep up this felting i'm going to have to come up with my own brand of felt and collars hi lisa we're adding another masterpiece to our fabric journal tonight <laughs> it's going to go in the fabric journal Let me show you what I did uh, Tuesday. We did this, and I finished it up. And uh, this was the mailbox, and it was down on the beach, and we had the red bird coming in to pick the mail up. <laughs> and and we we've, we've got some happy mail going out. <laughs> There's some happy mail. Can you see it? And Harry's over there guarding it, making sure nobody comes on the por goes down on the beach and steals our package. <laughs> Porch thieves. <laughs> so I, I thought that was cute. I thought that was a cute touch with the red bird and the mail pouch. And I felt that it it was really fun to do. And I loved doing the nest and the letter. And everybody helped. And telling me what to put on. And it was really, it turns out really, really good that way when everybody's involved. So it, it turned out to be real cute. Here's the backside. <laughs> but that's going to be covered up. That's going to be down on a one of my fabric pages. <laughs> and my mom's got a, a stitchery book that has all kinds of the different kind of stitches, quilting stitches in it. And uh, I'm going to borrow it probably tomorrow. I'll go over there and get it. And um, and I thought when I put them in my fabric journal that I could do different stitches on each side and really and make it uh, like a sampler, you know, do the sampler like it. So I'm I'm excited about that because I don't have anything stitched in my in the diary yet in the journal yet. So we're doing a little sunset tonight and my first time doing a sunset. So I don't know. We'll see how it works out. And this is kind of my, my inspiration is this picture here and the, the camera doesn't do it justice. It looks so much prettier on with my eyes and uh, it looks prettier in person. But it's a, it's a, it's the sunset is the background, and the tree is is 3D, and it's it's the last thing you do. It's the last thing you do, and I'm just kind of doing the sky or the the dark clouds, and then the the sunset, and then the ground, and then I'm going to make a tree. So I thought I'd do a real good background, and I wanted to make it nice and thick. So. 
that's my that's my story. That's where I'm going with that. And I'm having fun layering some colors in here for the the background. Having fun. This is this is this is a this is something that I really love doing is this layering and blending thing. I I'm, I really love. That's one of my favorite things to do with the felting and with painting as well. I love blending. It's one of my favorite things. Just a few of my favorite things. Sounds like a song. How's that looking? Okay. And my single needle is my favorite, favorite needle to use of all of the needles. It, the, this one's really good for tacking things down and they're small needles and it does a good job getting it tacked but I love doing the single needle felting is my favorite <coughs> <coughs> I think it is I need to cover up some more of this pink up here. Now. Maybe I can blend. 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 I can do it. That's what I'll do. Really blend it. So anyway, uh, for those of you that just came in, <clears throat> I'm going to stop at 8 o'clock and we're going to do a dog tag. Since we've been... <clears throat> we've been uh, totally distracted. I keep saying I'm going to do it, going to do it, going to do it. And every time something comes up <laughs> and I run out of time. So I'm going to work on this. And what I don't finish on this, I'll finish it Saturday. So I think we could, I think that that's a good plan. Good plan. Let's see how that does. Now I can, I can, uh, and once I get this sort of tacked down, even though it's not felted all the way, I can still continue to do more layers. Because I can felt it all down at once as, as a final detail. So, so once I get everything on here, the picture wise, then I can, I can finish tacking it or finish felting it off screen. I think we'll be able to finish this tonight for the most part unless we get on another rabbit trail you know how that is easy to do we can do that too very easy but I like the blending of the, the colors Good. 
a little more in the in here. Oh, her dog's name is Joey. Okay. We'll do that, Cheryl. That's important. Yes. <coughs> I think I'm going to have to... I'm getting hot. I'm going to have to turn the fan on. <laughs> Maybe turn my thing on for me. Oh, that'll be better. Okay. Now. A Shelby dog. What's a Shelby dog? Is that like a... What's a Shelby dog? Don't know. Oh, a shit, shit, like a Shetland. Okay. <clears throat> That's like a collie, isn't it? Similar to a, I bet it's like, it looks like a collie. Hi, Sue. Howdy, girl. How you doing? Yeah, like a lassie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like a little sheep, furry sheep dog. There it is. Oh, aren't they cute? Yeah, we got to pray for Joey. Little Joey. Okay, honey. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm looking for a dog for another dog. Uh, I want a skipper key. 
And I've got my feelers out, but I'm not having any luck. <laughs> Aw. Hi, Janice. Hi, everybody coming in that I haven't said hi to. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. We're going to do this uh, <clears throat> sunset scene. And then we're going to do, I'm going to put a tree on it. And then we're going to move to a doggy tag. Yay! It's about time. Still think I need a few more layers of something other up here. Is it Aaron? E Aaron? Hi. Welcome, honey. I don't know if I've seen you before, but welcome. We're doing some felting. Do you know how to felt? Okay, Aaron. Well, welcome, honey. We're doing a we're doing an art project. We're felting a scenery right now, and then in a little bit, we're going to do a doggy tag. We're switching over to an art project. Felting is done with a needle. Do you know how to felt? You've never felt it. Oh boy. Well, you'll have to go back and watch some of my videos. We've been doing it all month. Okay. Okay, well, Joycey, Joycey comes in. I haven't seen her tonight, but she, she comes in here. Yes, okay. Yeah, we follow Joycey, too. Able to rejoice. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, great. Well, tonight, uh, we're felting, we're felting a, a picture tonight. And my this is my inspiration. And it's a sunset scene. So I'm trying to capture the, the background right now. And then and then we did this Tuesday. This is all done with wool and a needle. Yes. Okay. Well, this is another textile. Uh, different than tatting, but... Uh, we use a barb needle, which is uh, uh, what we felt with. And we actually felt the wool, uh, the loose wool. Uh, you buy it separate and then you add the collars and felt it down with the, the barb needle. And uh, it becomes a piece of fabric when you're done. It's fun. And we've been doing it all month. So all the girls can tell you all about it. And, and we've done lots of different pages like this. And we felted, we did some wet felting and did a scarf one night. We've done flowers, wet felted flowers. And we made an angel one night. And we've done some animals. And here's Harry. <laughs> I've done Harry. He's felted. So, uh. So lots of things, lots of things going on. And here's another one that we did last week, Saturday. 
and it's just fun to create. So we're going to get this one done here. I'm going to go ahead and start on my tree so I can get it on here. I think I got enough blue. We have lots of fun in in this room. It's a uh, if you like to watch Joycey, then you'll like to watch us. And there's several of us, several girls that stream. And we all kind of follow each other around. <laughs> oh, the dog tag. Okay. It's, it's a, um, the dog tag is, is, is just going to be a, a paper art that we're going to do. And, and we're going to, I'm going to get it out here in a few minutes. So stick around and I'll explain that a doggy tag, but we, uh, we're, we're going to collage a, a dog. We, we look at a picture and, and we, uh, recreate it on a piece of paper and we call it, and we put a tassel on it and we call it a dog tag. We did the cat tags and now we're going to do dog tags and the cat tags was, was a big hit in, last summer. So, uh, early, it was probably early summer we did the cat tags, and then uh, later summer we did uh, the acrylic painting. Oh, okay. The girls have been doing felting with me, and some of them posted on my on my Facebook page. And Erin, you're you're invited to join to join me at my Facebook page, but you have to go here to Beth's Crafty Mixed Media Room and ask to join. And if you join my, my craft room, it's a, it's a uh, Facebook and it's private, so it's safe. And uh, not everybody in the whole world can't go, go in. It's a closed group. So anyway, um, I'll show you a few of the things that some of the other girls have made with their felting. Make sure I can get it there. <gasps> Isn't that cute? This is some felting. So you have to Google it, and there's tons and tons of videos on it. Tons. Tons of videos. <laughs> These were done by Sharon in our group. But she's better than I am. I mean, she, this girl here, she's, she's really good. She is really good. That's all I can say. And then some of the other girls are beginners and they like to felt hearts. So we, I sent out felting supplies. And I sh and they uh, learned how to do something, you know, in the beginning stage, like felting a heart. And I demoed that. I d I've demoed that several times. Hi, Laura. Yes, it is. It's very cool. And. Um, that's just a, a few, but if you join the, uh, the Facebook group, Aaron, uh, you can see what some of the other girls have posted in the, in the, on that, in that group. Okay. Let me get my tree started. I'm running out of time. I've got 10 minutes to do my tree. I think I'm going to start with black. I'm on a, I'm on a time schedule tonight. <laughs> but we're always going on rabbit trails. <laughs> always. Let 
my tree is going to have my characteristics. <laughs> it might not be exactly like hers, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. When I start creating things, my uh, imagination takes over. So that's a warning. <laughs> Here I go. go hopefully it won't get me in too much trouble Oh, well, great, Lynn. I'm good. <laughs> I'm doing them in hopes that maybe you guys will start doing them, too. But there's, we've talked about uh, beginner kits. You can get beginner felting kits at Amazon or online. And I got... Um, I ordered a bunch of my stuff from a company called Mo Mohair and More. And you just type in Mohair and More in the search engine and you can it'll come up. And it's a, a wool company uh, out of uh, Waverly, Texas. And they uh, that's where I bought a lot of my supplies from. And I, I've also bought supplies off of eBay and Amazon. And there's beginner kits that come with everything that you need to start uh, if you want to ever get into the felting. We're going to do this for another week. And then we are going to switch. <laughs> we're going to switch motors. And we're going to go into pottery next. So we've been felting all for the month of January. And... <clears throat> I promised in February that we would do pottery. So my pottery classes, uh, I'm just an amateur for you girls that are just new that are coming in. I'm just an amateur person and I'm just learning how to do all kinds of things. And I do, uh, I've done felting for a couple of years. So I felt that I know, no pun intended. I felt, ha ha ha. I felt like I knew enough about it to teach uh, the basics of how to get started with it and how you can do it too, like me. And uh, it's, you know, it's all in the creativity of how you do it and how you want to do it and what you want to do, you know. And and so there's no right or wrong in our art. It's just fun that we get to do it and it's it's our challenge we challenge ourselves and we we get we reach our goals when we do when we go to these pro new projects we are reaching our goals and and our dreams are coming true by actually dipping into some of these projects that we've always loved but we've never made the time to do it we've never made time to do the pottery or you know, I never thought in a million years I'd be doing pottery in my own home all by myself. Never, never in a million years. And and I am. I'm doing it. And, and now I'm getting ready to teach a little teaching class. So uh, that's 
you know, uh, exciting for me. And, uh, and like I said, I'm, I'm not a, an experienced potter, but I do know how to throw a bowl and I do know how to, uh, I've got a wheel, my own wheel, and I've got my own oven and I've got all the supplies to make pots and I've got the clay and the paint and and the, all of the glazes. So I have enough stuff to share to te give you all a beginner's class in in pottery. So that's what I'm going to do. So, but I, I'm I'm uh, in the process of getting a camera put in the garage so that I can go out there and actually film live and do some live classes with you guys. And um, I know nobody else has a pottery wheel or not, or maybe not very many anyway. And they're, not everybody has their own oven, but, but they would enjoy watching me do it. And uh, so that's the whole idea of doing it with you guys. <coughs> and I can teach you a little bit about all of it. <laughs> <coughs> so there it is. Yes, you can, Cheryl. You can felt an animal. Yes, ma'am. I felt it hairy. I felt it hairy with my needle. I sure did. I'm going to have to get Harry some more glue on his nose. Because the ladybug's coming off. Yes. So everything that I've, <clears throat> I've been doing, <clears throat> you can do it too. <coughs> I think you can see how I'm putting some of these branches on the tree. So I'm going to have to have, I might have, I might have some homework. <laughs> Either that or I can wait and finish this up Saturday uh, with you guys. If you all want me to do this, continue to do this Saturday night, I won't work on it until I come back online with you guys. Because it's all, it's, it's, I got a minute. I got one more tree limb here. <laughs> I got a minute to count down. Did anybody set their alarm? <laughs> but I've got some tree limbs going here. And I want to add some more. Because <clears throat> uh, there's a lot more on there. And... Uh, I might be able to put some of these crookedy things, make it look more like a tree. So I can work on that uh, or I'll wait and do it Saturday. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, well, uh, I, we'll see. It's it's a night scene, so maybe I'll put a a darker bird in the tree or an owl. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this aside, and I've worked on it for about an hour, and I love it. And um, I'm going to add more texture to this and different shades. I've got some more browns to add on top, and make it more barky, like a bark. So I'm going to be using some of this. And I might, I don't know, I might put some oranges into it. I could put some of this in the bark. But definitely the and some of the more black. So 
okay, I'm going to do a doggy tag like I promised. Put my needle away. Hi, Mary. Look what we just did. But if you all have any more questions about the felting, I can go over it again. Uh, but you have to have a sponge so that your needle doesn't hit the table and break your needle. And there's lots of other learning uh, videos on YouTube that I highly recommend you all go and, and do some searches for, for felting and watch other ladies do it. It's fun. It's it's an old textile. And um, you just it's just you just can't go wrong with fun. You know, that's all there is to it. But some of my other videos that I've done, I've showed how we how we made hearts and I've showed how we done made make little things. So right now I'm going to clear my desk off and I have a, a, a rack here that uh, I'll see if I can show it to you. I got this little rack over here. It's a three three tiers. It's got three levels and it's a fruit. It's like a fruit basket thing. That you put fruit in and I've got my felt in it so I can just pick what I need, you know, of my, off of my felt for my felt. So I'm going to stuff it, stuff it up, put my, put my wool away and I'm going to get a doggy tag out and we're going to show you how I do that next. But this makes it easy cleanup when I just have to put everything on here. And uh, there it is. So this this will make it easy for me to get my other arts out. I slide my needles for protection right there. So let me see. I'll show you the cat tag briefly just to give you a teaser of how we used to do it. This was the uh, some of the cat tags that we've done and you see they're shaped like a tag and that's how that's how we did the cat tag. And uh, I have the original tag book that we did all of these guys. We did the whole alphabet. And all the girls helped me uh, with all the decorations and and the ideas of how to create the tags. Uh, all of the girls in the room helped me. And uh, we we our inspiration from the cat tag was a napkin. So we did all of these cats on this napkin in this book. So that's how we that's how we did the cat tags. And now we have in our possession a doggy napkin just like the cat napkin but with dogs. So now we're going to begin the dog tag book. <laughs> so this was the old cat tag book. <laughs> and here's the new doggy tag dogs. <laughs> so so here we go. Now I I don't remember. I haven't looked at this forever. And I don't know if they're alphabetized or not. Like the cat, the cats were alphabetized. I didn't know it till like a month after we were making them. And then we realized that they were in alphabetical order. So we did the whole alphabet. So I'm not sure. There's an Airedale. There's an A. There's a Basset Ham. There's B. Chihuahua C. A Dutch Hound D. I think they're alphabetized. 
So we're going to do the Airedale for first. Let's do the Airedale. There's the little Airedale. And I just happen to have some tags in here. I think somebody sent me this tag. Yep. Somebody mailed me this tag. So, oh, here, I've already got them out. Here, I've already alphabetized them. I have the key. Do you have a Chihuahua, Tinker? Good, Joyce. <laughs> So we're going to do the, they're all the way through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. The only dog that wasn't on the napkin was a U. So I had the honor of printing out underdog. <laughs> So he's going to be our U dog. So we're going to do 26, 26 dog tags. And this is how I started doing them. Uh, I, you know, I would get inspired and I would, I would start. Uh, this was Jennifer Ann's cat. And I was going to do pet tag tags, but I, I ran out of time. And then somebody wanted to do chickens. And I did a, I, a, a I got this together as an inspiration. This was a different napkin or tissue paper. I think this was tissue paper. So I've got it on here. And here is another doggy napkin that I found that somebody sent me. You spy your Ripley, Mary. Which one is your which one is yours? Which one was yours, Mary? <laughs> so anyway, this is just a, a tag book that I had and I've, I've collected different animals in and they're mostly dogs and cats. So tonight we will do the Airesdale, a German Shepherd. Okay, okay. Well, there's a Great Dane. And then they have the shepherd down here under S. There he is. Isn't that cute? So instead of, I love that they have the little shirts on on the dogs, and the and we will we will try to uh, accommodate the their clothes. We will do that. So the Airesdale. I don't know if I want to do it on a blue. Start with a blue. We'll start with a blue tag. And I was going to look up an Airesdale. Okay. He's got a little Scottish... He's a Scottish dog. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Wouldn't he be fun to felt? <gasps> I could just felt every bit of that brown. The cat napkins are on Etsy's. And Cheryl gifted me these napkins, I believe. <coughs> and we usually name them. Uh, beginning with the letter of their of the A of the alphabet. So you Janice has already got some names picked out. Andy Allen. Allen and Allen, two different Allens. Aaron and she likes Aaron. Okay, we'll have to take a vote on the names, guys. A little brown dog. A mutt. Yes, Lynn. <laughs> So, and he happens to have a sweater on. So, I go up into my scrapbook paper and get busy. Uh, I'm getting it out. 
I've got quite a bit of little scrapbook paper and stuff that I can go through. Until I find the right outfit. <laughs> and then I use my wallpaper books too. There's an A dog, Airsdale. Yeah. Yeah, the very first dog is an Airsdale. This dog. But I love to use my wallpaper books and all my craft papers. And I, I just, we just have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun with uh, dressing the dog. And I, I think this is going to be his sweater right here. And uh, <clears throat> let me find some brown paper for his face. So we just have a good time. We do, we do. This is going to be a shirt. And this can be his face. And ears. So what I usually do, this is the first dog, and it's in it says Airsdale. I know it, Aaron. It would be. He would be very cute. But this is how we've been doing the crap the uh, the doggy tags, we've been, or the cat tags, we did them all in craft paper and mixed media. So I've got my tag, and what I usually do is get a piece of paper, and I draw, I do a little tracing. I trace the dog out a little bit to fit the tag. The tag is like a half a sheet of paper size. And we just made all this up as we go. And then I get a pencil. And I start drawing the dog a little bit. And and because uh, this is this is the tag. So the dog's going to be on here. Somewhere. And and so I will I will start drawing the dog and I just kind of freehand it. And what I'm doing is making this my pattern paper. <laughs> Jennifer Ann sent me a picture. I just showed off King Tut. <laughs> Where is she? I just showed King Tut. Oh, who is it? Who is this, Jennifer? <laughs> oh, Jennifer, come talk to us. <laughs> He's adorable. Oh, he is so cute. I love him. Cute, cute, cute. And you see this, <clears throat> this dog here 
See if I can find a better face. He's got uh, eyes like that. So I might be able to use this for his face. And he's got all kinds of whiskers going down. So I'll have to try to figure paint it. I'll, I'll probably your Yorkie. Oh, Jennifer, that is cute. What's his name? And then and then the rest is his body is his shirt. And then we leave a space down here for his name. So <clears throat> I usually take this and I use it to cut my, use it as a pattern. Tell us his name. T tell us his little name. So anyway, I go back to our original tag, and this is going to be the shirt. And now I'm going to make his face. I think I'm going to cut two of them out. Bubby, his name is Bubby. I love Bubby. Bubby's cute. So anyway, <clears throat> the way I piece my my tags together is kind of like a little puzzle. Hi, Joan. Kind of like a puzzle. I freehand cut, I use, you know, I use the little pattern that I, I draw, I draw, I traced it. And that was my pattern to cut out in the pretty paper. And uh, I can use, I can make his paws stick out from the shirt. See which ones we like. Oh, yeah, that's cute. His little paws sticking out from under. Oh, and then I have to make them a tail. Let's see what their tails look like. <coughs> okay. I can do a tail.
Here's his tail. Let's pick a head. I think his head's going to be here. And there's our A, our Airsdale. And you all have to pick a name out for him, guys. You pick the name out. And I'll print him a name out. So I glue this down. And then <clears throat> we can do something in the background. <laughs> I haven't done one for so long. I don't know what I'm doing. And see, sometimes we even use real material for the clothes. But I just happen to have this. And this is perfect. This is perfect for the, for our dog. I added the tail. And I added feet. And uh, I think I'm going to draw his eyes in with a Posca pen. Oh, Abby. It has to be an A, Aaron. It has to be an A. We're doing A tonight. <clears throat> we go with the alphabet. <laughs> we stick to this. We stick to the subject. <laughs> or that's what we did for the, the cats anyway. <laughs> hey, Archie would be cute after the the print after the Megan's baby. And Prince Harry. <laughs> they have an Archie. Yeah. Oh, he does. He's a ham, huh? He likes to photobomb you. Okay, I like that. I like that. Save this for next time. Save this for next time. Okay. That's a good name. Mitzi, do I know you? I don't know you, Mitzi. Hi, Mitzi. Welcome, Mitzi. Mitzi and Aaron are both new tonight. You are new girls. Archie the adorable. Jennifer likes Archie. Everybody has to vote. You have to vote. What do you want? I was thinking about putting something on the background. You have. Well, I'm glad you came out to say hello. Artie. Artie Archie. <laughs> I made a cat, a painter one time. In one of the cat tags. We have a painter in the cat tags. It was so cute. Uh, there's a few, Aaron, um, <clears throat> Lisa was here earlier, uh, Lisa at My Eclectic Life. I recommend her. Also, I recommend Aunt Beck's Creation. Are you writing these down? And I also recommend <laughs> Mary, 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 Mary Altier. Okay, good. And I watch uh, Tanya McGuire. Okay. Okay, Jennifer, when you come, you bring them with you. I've got a nice uh, fenced-in area around the pool. <laughs> That's right. 
Mitzi is Mindy and you're Mitzi. Okay, honey. Good to know. Okay. I said Mitzi. 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 Um, and I tell you someone else that is just starting to do some um, new channels is Sharon Monroe. Sharon Marlowe. Marlowe. Sharon Marlowe. M-A-R-L-O-W. She's new and she's just starting to stream and she's real good. I like her a lot. And uh, just hang out with us, Aaron, and we'll 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 try to shoot you to the right direction. And Deborah in here at uh, River City, she she has some movies, some videos that she does. Okay, girls, shout out who you like, so that Aaron can get some ideas. Sharon Marlowe is one. Crafting on a budget is one. Good. Betsy Doodle. Good. Mary Altier. And we nicknamed her Mary, Mary, Mary. You can't say Mary without saying it three times. It's against it's against the rules. Tammy Brackett Designs. I don't know her. You like dances with pit bulls? Crazy Rebecca. All right. I need to write some of these down. So when I have a downtime, I can uh, check them out too. Let's see. Dances with pitfalls. And Tammy Brackett. Yeah, Liz Brewer. She's fun. Lizzie Brewer, Elizabeth Brewer, uh huh. Scrapping Lizzie. Yeah, River City, uh huh. Deborah, good, good, good. Pink Poodle Crafts, Spanky. Uh huh. Well, you're pretty much in our in our circle then, Aaron. I like to watch Maggie Loxley too. Uh, she's she's in uh. Off the coast of Australia, New Zealand. And of course, we like to watch Barb Owens and hand, hand, uh, cat, uh, craft hand, cat hand, cat hand. Yeah. J junk journaling in Florida. Okay. Dabby. Aaron, do you do you uh, Maggie Lockley L O? I'll have to look it up. Mags, she goes by Mags. Let me go to my subs. That's where I'll go. Here we go. Uh, I watch Anne from A Caller for Life sometimes, but I don't do a lot of coloring. Uh, I do watch uh, a Joycey, Able to Rejoice. APG Jamie. 
Barbara Clark's dreams sometimes. Uh, Mags Lockley is in the ends. Let's see here. Yeah, Mags Lockley, L O C K L E Y, M A G Z, Mags. Yep. She likes to play, uh, Mags likes to do pick tens, and she usually uploads her videos. She doesn't stream li live very often. Who's green macaroni? Are you serious? Yeah, cage, fi cage fish is a good one. And, of course, we watch... Uh, D.D. Willingham all the time. Hi, Allie. Now, Allie Kay is starting to stream sometimes. I don't know how, how often she's going to do it. She's done a few of them lately. <laughs> and they've been cute, Allie. I don't know. I like it when you, when you, when you get on with somebody else and you all team up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we kind of hang out together uh if you haven't noticed. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to um I think I'm going to try to put some white lines on this <coughs> for the background. And I need a, uh, a, a workspace. I'm lost, girls. I haven't had any wallpaper down on my, my paper all month. <laughs> yes, we told her Sharon Marlowe. Okay, yeah, you did, you did with Mary. I saw that one. Hi, Joe. Hi. Joe's in the house. Be on your best behavior. <laughs> we are, we've let the dogs out. Yeah. We have let the dogs out, haven't we, guys? We're back into the dogs. We let the dogs out. We have. <coughs> no joke. Mm. Who let the dogs out? I haven't been in any paint for so long. I didn't, I forgot how to use it. There's a cat tablecloth like the blue cat napkin. Are you serious? I've got the, well, of course, the napkins. I'll have to check it out. <laughs> now, on, on my um, cat tag, dog tag, the background... <clears throat> Of the napkin is is blue and white with lines. So I'm going to take a credit card and make lines like the background of the napkin and imitate it. Yes, I'm doing a doggy tag right now. I'm doing this guy right here. <clears throat> Artie Archie. What'd we say? What's his name? <laughs> yes, I do, Aaron. I have a dog and a cat. Yes, I do. I'll show you Abby here before we leave. Yes, yes, dog I know. He, Abby's right here, yeah. So anyway, the napkin has these lines on the back, and I'm going to try to imitate them. And I'm just using my paint with a credit card. <clears throat> uh, a lot of times when I do my art, I kind of demo what I do. So everybody kind of, if they want to do it too, they can. If you want to follow along, it's easy to do. Isn't that right, Joe? That's right. Now, Joe is my supervisor. And he comes in and checks me out, Aaron. And he makes sure I'm, I'm doing it right. 
don't you, honey? Mm -hmm. So if you need, if we need a bouncer, we got one. See, these things critiqued a little bit every once in a while. Not very. He often. gives me all kinds of loving suggestions, and they are wonderful, aren't they, girls? Everybody likes Joe. He's handy to have around. He's going to be the one. He's the one who got me into all this. He's he's the encourager. And he's the one that's going to be putting the camera in the garage. Oh, now that's what's all coming. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you knew so. Sound like a politician now. Uh -huh. Everything's good, good, good. And this is what I want you to do. Oh, by the way. <laughs> by the way. So now I'm doing the, the crosshatch here. But I got a couple of new girls in here tonight, and they're, uh, one's been lurking. And the other one, she's she's she came in on the tail end of uh, Joycey from Washington, and uh, so we've been telling her all we've been telling her all about it. We've been giving her the four one one. <laughs> we'll tell you. I started to stop at Krispy Kreme and, and give you a, a 911. Yeah? Yep. Give I me know. a heart attack. You would have loved one of those. I know it. But I thought, you know, maybe you was. Hmm. So, I don't know about you, but I think this looks kind of like the background on the napkin. Where's the napkin? Oh, I haven't seen it. Oh, the background. Oh, yeah. Tell me I'm tell me I'm tell me I'm doing good, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that look like that? Yeah, it does. Look at that. It's just like it. We're doing this one right here. Airsdale. Oh, you're gonna do one today? Yeah. We're doing that the little red right. striped one there, right there. Well, you love to draw them. Animals. I've already got him cut out. He's ready to be glued oh, down. Oh, look at that. I got feet and tails and everything, but I kind of let this dry first. He's got a jailbird sweater. <laughs> I don't know. You can put a little spot up there. I right? haven't used my heat gun for so long. I wonder if it still works. Yep, it works. Hi, Susie. Thanks, Joan. Thanks, guys. We're going, we're coming back with a bang, <laughs> with a bark. We're coming back with a bark. We, we timed me. I got the felt for an hour, and now I get to do a tag for an hour. And then I don't know what we're going to do next. Oh, that's going to go in your little fun, your little cute book. This is going to be in the dog tag book now. The dog tag. We did the cat tag. Ooh, Cheryl, are you passing out cookies? She's passing cookies. I got a cup of coffee. I'll take two. <laughs> two cookies. They don't have to do anything for a Krispy Kreme. Hot glaze. I'd walk out to the end of the driveway and back. Yeah, hot glaze. We have a Krispy Kreme down here, and when the lights are flashing outside, that means they've just got fresh donuts coming out. I think she's got to go. She's out. You really go out there? <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. That's oh. Ab Aaron. That's Abby right there. Oh. <laughs> There's Abby. See if I find a picture, of Abby. There's my Abbers. Oh, Janice, I'm going to come over in about a half hour. Apple cake, yummy. I don't know about you, but it's taking an awful long time for this paint to dry. I haven't used it for two months. You know, really probably even longer than that because we did the reverse collage forever. <clears throat> We've been doing some really wonderful art projects. Still got a little bit of wetness going on there. So, uh, Aaron, what do you like to do in your spare time? Do you like to art? Do you have a craft room? Do you have a dog? Tell us. Tell us. We want to know. Curious minds. I get excited sometimes, so I'm sorry if I get too excited. <laughs> I have to calm down, calm myself down. You like to do art, junk journaling related things, collage, sewing. Okay, good, good, good. Well, I'll have to show you some of the stuff that we do. We do everything in here. Uh, <clears throat> we follow the other girls and we hang. Hang out. So here's our little dog. And I'm going to paint his face on with a, uh, a Posca pen. Oh, you're cleaning your room. Good. Good girl. I turned what I turned my spare bedroom into my craft room. Yep. Yeah, I had a I had a couch in here and and uh, it it folded out to be a bed, which was perfect. But um, I ran out of room, so I kicked the couch out and put in two cabinets. <laughs> a poodle mix rescues Otis and Pixie. Oh my gosh, I love the name Pixie. Oh, that's great. Poodles. I like poodles. Abby, my Abby is a skipper key. She's a, a, a little black dog. I 
I think I can do better with a paintbrush than I can with this thing. I bought this Posca pen and uh, I'm not happy with them at all. Paid good money for them too. I think I could do better with, with my little brush. <coughs> so nope not that brush I can tell you right now let's find a better one Okay. Let's see now. looking for the right brush. It's got these little beards. I'm I'm concentrating. I'm at work, so I get quiet. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to do this in white, but I will go over it again with black. But they got a nose and a little happy mouth. I'll do that one in maybe in red. And then they got two eyes. Oh, I bet I know what I can use. I have a jelly pen. A jelly roll pen. Woohoo! Where's my jelly roll? This is my very first jelly roll pen. I forgot I had it. Do jelly rolls come in different colors? Yeah, I have a skipper key. Uh-huh. Okay. Where do you live, Erin? Where do you live? Oh, they have many colors. Okay, well, I'll have to get me some more jelly rolls. I like these better than some of the other pins that I have. Uh, for sure.
a sparkle pop. No, I have never heard of a sparkle pop. It sounds glittery. Oh, great. That's good to know, Mitzi. Okay, good. Some of my Posca pins, the original Posca pins that I bought were great. And then I ran out of the white and the black. So I ordered new ones and they weren't anything like the other ones. They're, they come in so many different kind of tips and yada, yada, yada. And I hate them. I hate them. I like the, one I, the ones I had in the beginning and I don't know where I got them at. You live up in New York? Okay. Okay. Yes, I do know where Lake Placid is. They had a big movie about it. <laughs> okay. Well, good, honey. There's a we've got a few Canadians that come in that watch us. Yeah. They're glitter gel pens. Okay. When you they change kind of change colors, shades. Okay. Yeah, the these these ones that I I replaced, they they are a brush. They're not a nib, and I hate the brush. It's it's just a big fat glob. I'll show it to you. Look at this. I can't paint nothing with this thing. Look how look look how look at it. I want my pointy one at. I want my pointy one back. That's not going to make a pretty mark. And it does have a pump, you know, on the the top. You can pump it, pump the the paint out. But I know it. It is. It's like a water brush, but it's so fat. It it comes out like a big. I mean, I could do better with a little paintbrush in my, in my white paint. Well, that's true. Maybe I could trim it. That's a good idea. I might have to try that. Okay, I've got, uh, did we all decide on a name? Is it going to be Artie? I like Artie. Artie is cute. Do we have a vote? Yeah. Are we voting? I just kind of play around until I get what we like. 
there's no uh, <clears throat> there's no reason for my madness. Let's see what Allie did. Allie, Allie uh, is our artist. Wow, Allie. Cute. Allie is our tech artist. She, she does a lot of her art on her iPad. Oh, I do. Okay. Okay. I'll go get it, Cheryl. I had trouble getting in. So here's Artie. Does he need some bling? <clears throat> might have to get some bling out for Artie. Does he need he looks like he might be a rapper or something? Yep, I bet he does. He needs like a gold chain, a big long gold chain on with a peace sign on it or something. <laughs> <laughs> she, they're going, yes, yes, bling, bling, bling. Get the bling. We always we always get the good stuff out for our tags. <laughs> Jewelry and all. We get the silver box out. Or the gold box. I had a gold box. <clears throat> See if we got something that's masculine. Are you gonna stick it on the dog? Yep. We're gonna put it on the dog. Let's see here. Let's stick him up here to dry. This is the fun part. <laughs> when we get to we get to play. See what we got in here. See if we can find something. I've got a key. We could put a key on them. You you all tell me which one you like the best. I've got a key. I've got all kinds of charms. Let's see what we got here. Need a leaf. I got an earring. I've got a button. Well, no, that's a that's a that's a necklace. We could put a big a big cross on them. That'd look cute on him. There's another leaf. There's another heart. I got a button. Who's this character? I got one of the seven elves, the seven dwarfs. I don't know which one it is, but it's a seven one of the seven dwarfs. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Focus. There we go.
Yeah, it looked like dopey or sneezy. The key, okay. <laughs> you all have to vote on his name. Okay, I'm looking. All around what you think he ought to have. Oh, I think I found a chain. Put a chain right here. Put a big chain on him like he's a rapper or something. He's going down the hood to do a little rap song. <laughs> I've got a camel. I've got a star. I've got dolphins. Four leaf clover. A a teddy bear. That might be cute. Archie the rapper. Uh-huh. <laughs> I've got a mermaid. I think it's a mermaid. My goodness. I got a cat and, and a bear. Another bear. The bear's cute. And that little bear is cute. He needs a medal. I've got a heart with a pearl in the in the middle. There's a heart, a locket, like a locket. Talk, Grumpy, you all going to do all the names now? <laughs> I got a camel. A couple of camels. I got a bow. I've got everything. You all need to, you all need to, uh, Pick one out. <clears throat> I can put a medal around. His, I can give him a medal, a silver medal. On that guy. Let's see. Let me put this back up. Where did I get this one at? Well, I had to pour it out from something. My baggie. Oh, I thought that this uh, metal was kind of cool. It was a. It had a. I thought this was kind of cool too. Some kind of musical sin. Well, all I have is what you've seen. That's all you get to choose from. I've got a bell. But I also have a char uh, one of these. I can use part of this as on him. And it's like a... Oh, it kind of reminds me of an, 
astrology or something. I could put one of those on them and a bell. Yeah, it does. Okay. Joyce likes it. Janice likes it. And I can hang it from his neck. So it'll be like this. Okay. Okay. I'll use the metal. <coughs> I can do it. He's going to be a yo-yo from the from the hood. Yo. Yo-yo. Okay, honey. Thanks for hanging out. Nice meeting you. See y'all later. See you later, Aaron. Come back. <clears throat> okay. Let me get my uh my my tools out now. I got some jewelry tools. That's what it's going to look like when I get it on there. Yo. Bye, Susie. <laughs> oh, she's saying bye, Susie. Okay, Aaron's saying bye. Bye, honey. Welcome. Come back and we'll see. I'll, I'll be back on Saturday night. Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays is when I stream. We goof off. We just goof off is all we do. <laughs> Isn't that right, girls? We just goof off. <clears throat> but we do it. We do it in a good way. We goof off real good. Okay, I think I'm going to uh, get my pen, my marker, and go around the edge of my card. Well, I can. Now, this is a brand new marker, and it will not do a thing. That is so sad. That is so sad. A brand new marker. Never been used. Doesn't even work. That's sad. Nothing I can do about it. But now this marker here came from Walmart and it is a pen and gear marker. And this one is good. I'm telling you, this one's better than Sharpie. I want you to look at that. You can't get any better than that. So what do you all decide, Artie?
Patty's on. Who's Patty? Okay, that looks good. Oh, we got to get some tassels. Can't forget our tassels. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to put our chain in. Like that. And we'll get this one in on this side. Got better fingers tonight. Get in there. I gotta have something to help me. Here we go. Abby. Abby Farkin. Okay. And then I'll take and put some tape with like Pulled it back out. Can you believe it? I struggled and then I pulled it back out. Get that in. And then we'll tape it. We'll tape it down real good because somebody took my tape. Oh my goodness. What am I going to do with all these crafters in the house that keep borrowing my stuff? Do you want a dog planner? A dog planter? Planter? <laughs> Artie's going to live in your dog in your journal book. Yay! Where are the buyers and sellers go? What are you talking about, Jennifer? Oh, Patty Tolly Terry. Yeah, she sells a lot of stuff. Yeah. I don't sell. I don't sell or try to sell or anything we just play we just like to play oh a planter a dog planter mm. well i don't have any any plants in the house right now so no i don't think i need a dog planter um let me find my tape joe borrowed it It's all Joe's fault. So what I'm going to do is tape. Hopefully this will hold my uh, bling down so it won't come out. Let's see how that looks now. Down in the hood. Down in the hood. There he is. Looks good. Down in the hood where it looks good. Mm-hmm. Down in the hood. 
So uh, let me get some blue ribbons to put on there. Yeah, Jennifer, for me too. I've got enough stuff in here to play for a lifetime. I, I probably won't have to buy another thing for the rest of my life. I've got, although I did order some of these and got them today. <laughs> he looks good. He just needs a tassel. Let me get my ribbon jar out. I keep a little jar. It's a, it's a uh, animal cracker teddy bear jar. It's plastic, and I keep it with uh, all of my little snippets in it of odds and ends of ribbons and lace and um, different things. And uh, it's like, it's a goodie jar. <laughs> and I'm looking at these blue things. That might look good on my doggy tag here. Here's some blue ones. See, they would look good. They would look good on it. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to pick this one. And this one. For starters, and put a tassel on it. So there you go, girls. There it is. So is it going to be already? I think Artie's going to be it. I kind of like it, Artie. Since we're in the art room. Okay. <laughs> Artie is gorgeous. Okay. Isn't he cute? There's our first dog tag. <coughs> <coughs> There he is. He's going down in history. So, we'll put him in the front of the book. <laughs> Push all these other in the back. And I'll probably make him a, make a new a new binder for the, the dog tags. <clears throat> but right now, he's going to be in here till we get a new dog book. But I have the, the napkin. And I've got the master board. So the next one is going to be the Basset Hound. So the next dog tag will be the Basset Hound. Put a date on it. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> January 23rd. We'll do it. Okay. You better take a picture of him so I can post it.
Yep. So that's it for him tonight. And uh, what else do we need to do tonight? You all want to do a little quick flip through the cat book while I've got it here? You haven't looked at the cat tags for a long time. Y'all got a hankering for cat tags? So I got my ribbons. Put that back on the shelf. So this was the cat tags. <clears throat> and here's the original cat napkin. And we also used a another sun uh, summer napkin, and I've got it in the front of the book to show you. I don't know why that won't go down in there because there's something else in there. I see. It's not sharing. There we go. Okay, I've got the napkin in there. This was an, another napkin that we used with this. Uh, we didn't have enough cats, so we had to add add three cats to it. And uh, and I went ahead and put them on in here just for fun. But here was the first one, <clears throat> and we named her Abby. Oh, you have it, Suzanne? Well, welcome to the cat tag book. Last spring, we had this cat napkin, and we did all of the cats. And tonight, we just started the dogs. You, you, you're, you're in on the very first one of the dogs. So I did 26 of the cats. There was, you know, one for each of the alphabet. And... Um, <clears throat> We didn't know until about a month after we started doing cat tags that they were alphabetized. And so we got a big brain idea that we would put them in order. So we did, <clears throat> we've got Abby first, and we named them all as we did them. And all of the girls in the room here helped me make these. I didn't do it. This is, this is all of your all's creations. And we did different backgrounds on all of them. And we did different tassels. So they're all, each one of them are very, very unique. And um, <clears throat> it was just a big, it was a big hit. It was fun. And it was one of the first things I started doing when I first started streaming. So there is Abby. Here's Bernice. Are y'all ready for Bernice? Uh, Cheryl John Cheryl John gave me the napkins yeah and then last summer we also had a napkin exchange and we we had uh, everybody sent me 10 napkins and I sent them back you know 10 different napkins and we had a napkin exchange so that we could do napkins in our art but anyway this is Bernice and Bernice has a history. She worked at the library. And she's always going, shh, it's the library. You're supposed to be quiet. Shh. Bernice always shushes everybody when she, when she comes and shows herself. No, I just, um, I just have, I just had two of them. And I glued I glued one down here, and this was the back side of it. Uh, I glued them in. I glued them here, and then I had another napkin, and I took and I glued the original picture on the back of the tag, because I tried to duplicate dupl duplicate the cat off of the napkin. The cat was my inspiration, and I tried to make a copy of the cat and put our own twist on it because we put jewelry on our cats and decorations and tassels mixed media 
Yes. Yeah, Etsy has the napkins too. And uh, so that's what we did. <laughs> we just, I just had a couple of napkins and Cheryl sent me to me and, and uh, I kept them. I kept a couple of them so I could put them in the book. And we had, uh, see, this is, this is the first cat that we did. This is Abby. And you see, it kind of looks like this cat. I tried, I tried to copy the cat as best I could with my techniques. So uh, that's how that's how we got started. And Cheryl was the instigator. She sent me the cat napkin, and we went nuts. We just went nuts over the napkin. So anyway, that's how. And I've got twenty six cats in here, and there's only twenty three on the napkin. So I added another napkin that I found at Tuesday morning, which was this one. And it has three cats on it. So they're included in, in the alphabet. And I also painted, I painted these cats on my mailbox. I used a mixed media, Suzanne. I used mixed media. This is made out of, each one of them are different. This one's made out of paper and magic markers and different types of texture. The background is the backside of the, na the original napkin because it's got the shadow of the cats on the back. You know, the part that you peel off the back of the napkin. And that's what's on the background of this tag. They're all different. Every one of them are different. And there's a lot of mixed media techniques on each one. So I'm going to do a flip through, Suzanne. And you, if, you need, if you need to stop and ask, you go ahead. And I'll stop and, and explain. I'll try to give you a little explanation of some of the artwork on here. Because there's a lot of different techniques. This cat tag has a, um, a piece of wallpaper on the background and then I took a, a, a lid to um, an eye drop I think it was an eye drop lid it was a real tiny lid and I made circles on the background with the lid of the circle lid and then this this one was made with the paper that I used tonight on the doggy and I cut her her face out of scrapbook paper and I drew her name, her face on with pens and paint and markers and gave her glasses. And we made her jewelry. And she it's a weird, it's it's a real wire. It's it's real jewelry wire. And it's real seed beads and a key charm. And we decided that Bernice was a librarian and she shushes everybody. <laughs> and she's got a pretty little burgundy tag on uh, tassels on her. And then here is the the cat on the back is a Burmese cat, and that's how we got her name. It's a Burmese cat, and her name is Bernice. This is Cutie Pie Callie Ann, and it's a calico cat. And let's see if I have, yeah, this, this will help. This is the, the calico cat, and here's the tag. And I tried to replicate her spots, like on the napkin. No, Cheryl just donated the napkin, <laughs> and she gave me all of her loving suggestions. In the she was with me in every one of the streams. Cheryl, Cheryl's been with me since day one, I think, haven't you, Cheryl? Did you make a tag too? Good, good. Uh, some of the girls uh, crafted along with me, and everybody's invited to craft along. But here's Cutie Pie Callie Ann, and she's got bling, and she's got a real pretty 
antique looking uh, tassel. And she's got real bling and I put bling in her eyes and I tried to match up her markings to the napkin. Close to it, yes. Yes, you have, Cheryl. And then the next one is Devin. And his, 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 it's a Devin Rex cat. So you see the cat and see how I made him look like the tag as much as I could. They're very similar. And he's got on a real cat charm from my jewelry box. I have I have a, a, a lots of beads. I'm kind of a, well, I'm a beadaholic. I admit it. <laughs> so this is our handsome Devin, and this is Eva Elizabeth, and she is from Egypt. She's an Egyptian cat. And she wears a lot of mascara. And there's some uh, tombs in the background, some pyramids in the background. And she's got on lots of jewelry. And she's got scarabs around her neck. The gold scarabs. Uh, they're ladybugs, but they look like those beetles that they use a lot in, in the sand. <laughs> And she's got an earring in as well. There's her earring. She pierced her ears. <coughs> and this is Fanny Farmer. And she is a, a cat that is a farm cat. And she has a mask on her face. And I've never seen a, a cat like this in real life. But she... She's got a, a spotted tail and a mask on. So I put a mask on her <clears throat> and spots on her tail. <laughs> yeah, Mitzi, I'm a, I'm a beadaholic. My name is Beth and I'm a beadaholic. Yeah. I buy beads and look at them. So anyway, I had some farm uh, wallpaper. There's a barn in the background. And this is a piece of wallpaper. And there's a mouse. And uh, a, one of those pitchforks. Oh, Yeah, she's named after Joyce's dog, Fanny. Fanny Farmer, <clears throat> and she's got some bling on as well. This is Goldie Ginger, and she's got a lace around her neck, and she's got uh, a little bit of glitter in her ears. And she has got a, uh, uh, a a ginger tabby is, is the name of that cat. So I tried to imitate her face on here. They are cute, Suzanne. We did each one every, I mean, every, I don't know, two a week or so forever. And we, we made each one and we spent hours on each one and everybody loved them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, be, Mitzi, I'll have to show you some of my beads. You stick around and you'll see them. Oh, Cheryl sent me a message. <clears throat> oh, here's Cheryl's cat tag. <sighs> Rats. It won't let me pull it up. Here's part of Cheryl's cat tag, and it won't let me pull it up. I'm sorry. It did that to me before, Cheryl. But there's there's part of her tag. 
That's all I see of it, Cheryl. But a lot of the girls art along with me, and everybody's invited to art along. And um, <clears throat> so anyway, here is Henry Hunter, and he has a history. Oh, my gosh. He's got a long history. He is a cheerleader, okay? And this was the first cat that we did, and we thought we had it as an A. Well, Henry had a sex change, and he he now belongs to the Alpha Beta Club, and he is one of their best cheerleaders. So he's got an honorary megaphone, and they gave him an honorary megaphone necklace because he is the best cheerleader that the Alpha Beta has ever had. <laughs> so there's Henry. <laughs> Here is Isabella, and she's a princess. There's her crown. And a lot of these things came from Happy Meal. Uh, a lot of the uh, embellishments. And here's some more beads and a necklace from my bead box, my private stash. And the girls picked out her jewel, her diamond. And, and the jewelry on these, um, the jewelry on these guys are real jewelry too. <laughs> because that's how much we love our art. <laughs> and, and each tag has a special uh, ta tassel on the top of their so I can go through these and, and really there's so much on each one of them. It's hard to it's hard to recognize everything. Now Jasmine, Jasmine is the fastest cat that we have. And she likes to run through the garden. She runs so fast that we gave her a cape. So she has her own cape, Jasmine, because she likes to fly through the garden. They all have character. And she's got some sparkle in her tassels as well. Now here's Kevin. Now one day, Joe come in here and he says, how come you don't have any very many boy cats? They're all girl cats. So here comes Kevin. He named Kevin. And we allowed, we like Kevin because he's, he's a hunter. He lives in the woods. And Kevin, he kind of looks like somebody familiar to us. Well, he looks like he might come from the cougar family. Does he not look like the cougars? Mm -hmm. Cousins. These are his cousins. So, he, he got uh, 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 a description on the back of his ancestors. And then here we have Miss Lulu. And she is so precious. Precious, precious, precious. In all her lace and her fancy clothes. And she's got bling. Well, Lulu <clears throat> has an admirer. And Max, he's got a fancy for Lulu. And he wears Lulu around his neck on his charm. So Max and Lulu may are dating. So they may get together one of these days. We'll never know. We'll just have to wait and see. Then we have Nancy Natasha. She's from Russia. And look at her mane. She's really cool. She was an accident waiting to be happened. It's so funny how each one of these tags came out to be so cool. I mean, they each they each have their own personality and uh, character. And I find I find things. And this came out of a out of some junk mail or a catalog. And this was a clothing. 
it was a pair of pants that looked like leopards and here were some here were some legs that also looked like animal skin from a a catalog and i used it i used it to my advantage and made tails and legs out of them so that's how i find stuff and then here we have miss olivia and she's very very pretty with her jewelry she's got real silver balls on her neck And then we have Pixie Bob. Well, Pixie Bob's one of my favorites. And she's got her PJs on. She's in a onesie. So we gave her uh, uh, some pajamas to wear. And she has a little teddy bear to take to bed with her when she goes to bed. Pixie Bob. And then next we have Queen Cutie Pie. She is the be beach beauty. She has a Q on her necklace. And she's the queen. She's the queen of the beach. She's in her rubber raft. She's got some flip-flops and a beach ball. And, a, and this came off of that beach napkin. And then we have Ryan Riley. He's pretty cool. He's slick. He's pretty handsome. And then we have Sir Scotty. And he's got a little bit of Irish in him. And he's got a banner. And he's been a he's got all these awards on his banner. Sir Scotty. Yeah, he's a Scottish. <coughs> then we have Tucker the Turk. Tucker the Turk. He's got a pinafore on. He was made out of wallpaper. <coughs> and I used the flowers of the wallpaper uh, for his decorations. <coughs> and then we have Ursula. In all her glory. She is our glitter queen. <laughs> Miss Ursula. This turned out to be a happy disaster. It was a brown tag. And I started with pink stencil on the back. And then I had a pink bingo dauber. <laughs> and then I had the gray cat on there. And I ended up putting glitter on her. And I had a glitter ribbon sit to me in some happy mail. To boot so it worked out perfectly she turned out real cute and then we have miss dana miss dana is a white cat and she represents uh cancer awareness and she's got on her cancer awareness jewelry that's a uh support a cancer support necklace Miss Nana. And then we have Lacey White. <coughs> well, <coughs> Lacey White has a story as well. And she was out one night a little too late. And the next thing you know, well, she had little Bubba. See Bubba? Mm hmm So Lacey White was a lady of the evening. And uh, she had a little... She had a little whoopsie and had Bubba. So we put Bubba on there. And Bubba was a a, a button. is a cat button. So there's Lacey White and Bubba. Then we have Malcolm. Malcolm X. He's a cool dude on the beach. And he's got all kinds of little cat danglings hanging from his his umbrella, and he's flying a kite, and having fun in the sun, mm -hmm. he's having fun in the sun, and I got, I've got real seashells, and uh, yeah, he's got his feet in the water, mm -hmm. he wrote love in the sand, and then we have Yancey Yorkster, and he's our painter, yep, 
he's the painter. And look what he painted. He painted a mural from the wall. A picture off the wall. He painted it. See his brush? We made everything to put on him. We had to make the little easel. And this little flower was a punch. And it just so happened I had a stencil of the same design. So it worked out that the stencil was there and the little punch was perfect for the little mural that he was painting. And, and then the paintbrush is made out of a toothpick. Mm hmm That was one of my favorites to do. We had a lot of fun with all these. And then last but not least, we have Zipper. Mm hmm Zipper is a cat. And he's kind of a beach bum. And he likes to surf. Well, he got his nickname because he always wears a zipper on his trunks. And there's his zipper. And those are silver beads. And he happened to catch a snack. He caught a snack here. And these are uh, charms. Silver charms. And some charms. Uh, seashell charms. And that's all of the cats. So. <clears throat> there we go. So I had the cat, the cat uh, increased <laughs> that I had to make a book of its own to put it in because of all the tassels and everything. So I got these big three ring binders, these big, big fat binder rings and made a two ring binder book out of some, out of a uh, pretzel box. And I put some fabric on it and an old belt. This is one of my old belts. <laughs> And I cut it up and put it on here for the cat tag book. So it'll go on the shelf. Well, good, Joyce. Haven't seen it for a long time because we've been busy. <laughs> and and uh, what I need to do is start going through some of my other books that I've finished of arts and stuff. Some of our prompt books. And go through one every so often. I need to get one out every week. And show it to you all. Because I've got tons of books on the shelves. That we have. Art books that we have done and finished. Yeah. So anyway. This goes back in the cat hang book. <clears throat> I keep it in there. Because it's the master. It's the master sheet. Of the alphabet. That we went by. And I've got a new one now for the dog. So this is for the dogs. So uh, we did the number one. We're on our road. On the road again. And I will make a new doggy book too. Uh, in the near future, we'll make a new doggy book. This... Uh, this was the, the original cat book and I put the cat napkin on the front of it, but, uh, we're going to, we're just going to put the, the dogs in it for now until we get a new doggy book. So. Okay. Hi, Skylar. How you doing, Skylar? Okay. So this is going back in the book. And we'll get ready to do the Basset Hound next. And I'm done with this paper so I can put it away. <gasps> I 
<laughs> yeah, we just did a dog tag. The doggy tag. Here he is. His name's Artie. He's a rapper. Janice got the cake out. Woohoo! Oh, I would definitely cut it tonight, Janice. I would not wait. Do not pass go. Do not collect two dollars go directly to the apple cake <laughs> scholar says i'm doing pretty good my grandma just got out of a major back surgery took longer than expected well goodness gracious but went well she was supposed to get out of surgery at five five hours ago okay <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> this is Terry Cleveland's art tonight, and didn't she do well? Oh my goodness. Terry, you're so good. Yep, it's a permission, Janice. You've got permission. With a little bit of cool whip on it. That is so good. Now, did you use <clears throat> acrylic paint with this, Terry, or markers, or both? That is so cute. She's good. That's all there is to it. Okay, Terry's going to try to keep up with me. Good. Okay, we're doing the Basset Hound next. Acrylic paint. Okay, I love the colors and the shading and the subtleness of it. Um, it's like you diluted it down a little bit, you know, when you put it on. I love it. Beautiful. I love it. Great, Terry. I'm look. I'll be. I'll be looking forward to having you play along. Okay, let's see what else. I did this earlier tonight. <clears throat> I was working on my tree, and I got just a few more minutes before I have to leave. So I'm going to felt a little bit more. I'm sure you won't mind. And this is what we did the uh, Thursday or Tuesday. And this was uh, last Thursday and Saturday. <laughs> My personal owl is in the other room. Do you need a hoot? No, I'm not leaving yet. Okay, Suzanne. I'll see what I can do. Can I can I take pictures of it and send them to you? Or put them on Messenger or on my Facebook? Suzanne, would that work? It'd be easier if I could uh, take a picture on my phone and message him to you. Because I can do a lot on my phone that I can't do on email. <laughs> I don't, I pretty much given up on email. No offense, but it's just not my cup of tea anymore. 
I've moved. I've moved on from the email. <laughs> yeah, I recorded. I oh, I recorded Joe video. I'll, I'll I'll give. I'll let you see Joe's recording. This is the owl that he went to see at at a uh, little zoo that he went to. It's a screech owl. And he sent that to Joe. Skylar sent this to Joe. Here we go. Did you hear it? I couldn't hear it. I was trying to get. I was trying to get him close to the microphone. <laughs> That's Joe doing the hoot owl. Uh huh. Let's see what I can do here. Okay. Yes, I will, Joyce. I'll put them in the group, and and I'll I'll put a picture of the one we did tonight, and then I'll put a picture of the next one. Cause the Basset Hound is the next one. Okay. Yep. A picture of the cats. Okay. I can do that. <laughs> Okay. Well, I think he's I think he's been doing it for so many years, Skylar. He probably did. He probably you know, he liked he uh, used to do a lot of hunting. So he was out in the woods, you know, and he used to hoot 
they he'd he'd call them and they'd call back. So he did have a lot of practice. He sure did. So anyway, I think I can get back to my my tree here. This was fun. A little reminiscing tonight. We've been reminiscing. And So there's one, this was the other one. And I made the cutest bees the other night. Did you all see my bees? My fabric book. <clears throat> I made the cutest bees. So this is my fabric journal and uh, all of my felting pictures are going to get to go in it and these are some that I've already done. I did the fox. And it's on a video. It took two videos to do it. <coughs> and some and some after hours time. It took two videos. These are some of the flowers that I made. Felting. Uh, wet felting. And I think I'm going to put these two on the front of this. I like these two the best. And I'm going to put some old jewelry with, with them. I'm looking for my bees. This was one we did on uh, <clears throat> one night. <coughs> and I'm going to embroidery them into my book. They're going to get embroidery in. It's a fabric journal. So anything fabric or Fibers can go into this book. <coughs> These are my clusters. Some of, some of my clusters. And some more flowers. I'm looking for some other pictures. I've got more pictures somewhere. <clears throat> Hang on. So there's more that's going to get to go in there, and I don't know what I did with my my bees. And I think I stuck them down in the in something because see, I did the I did this guy. He was a previous. Felting. That, I did that one about a year or two ago. But uh, I don't know what I did with my bees. I did the bunny. And I put them somewhere so I wouldn't forget them. And they're on my desk. <laughs> here's what I was trying to find this is what I wanted to show you look at these 
Aren't they cute? Their little legs. I love it. They look like little bees' legs. Do you ever see a bee flying in the air and their legs are hanging down? Hi, hi, hi Joyce. Hi, Joycey. So, uh, I'm going to make more of these. And I thought I would try to make some ladybugs, too. So, anyway, I'm going to go back to my tree that I started earlier tonight. And, um... Uh, my inspiration was a a picture. So let me get the picture up. This is this was my inspiration to do the sunset. And right now I'm working on the branches, and uh, I'm it needs work, <laughs> but I'm getting there. <laughs> so I've been talking so much <clears throat> telling y'all the cat stories <clears throat> I got me a dry mouth right now Quite entertaining tonight, huh? Yes. Okay, Deb. <clears throat> I can do that. Yeah. I'll make sure I get a B on in the book. The fabric journal. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That'll be great. I'll just go ahead and felt him down. Now, the thing about felting, <clears throat> tacking it on like this, I've got it on there, okay? But I could take and pull it off. You know, and move it around if I want to. So that's the good thing about sometimes when you felt it's not exactly permanent unless you felt it on for a long time. So I've got the got it felted on there, tacked on there. It's, and this is just put on with a pin. It's not on there permanently yet. <laughs> and I will probably have to, uh, I don't know, I might be able to sew. This is done in corduroy. It's, uh, 
it doesn't have any paper. Oh, I do have Tyvek in the middle. You know what Tyvek is? That's that uh, type of mailing stuff that you can't tear. It's called Tyvek. And it's the same kind that uh, you receive mail in sometimes from the U.S. Postal Service. So that's what I've got in the middle of this as a stabilizer of my fabric journal to give it the strength. And right now, I, most of the stuff that I have in here is just pinned in here. I don't have it sewed in yet. And uh, I basically just started doing that this summer. I made it this summer, the, the book. And... <clears throat> And then I started felting and I said, oh, all my felting supplies, all these felting pictures can go in there and then they'll be in one place and I won't have to hunt for them, except that I am missing a couple of more pictures that I did. <laughs> wonder where they are. They're over here on this table somewhere. They're hiding. They're hiding. With my other stuff. It's the one where I did the mountain. Mm -hmm. The mountain. Ain't no mountain high enough. But I've got uh, the scarf that I did. This was the scarf. And I put the one flyer on here. I thought it was pretty. And then I did these a couple of years ago on the wool blanket that I've showed you. And these are just on little little uh, squares. And they'll go in my fabric book. But I'm missing two more. Oh, here they are. They're right up here where I left them. These are the ones, the red truck, the mountain and the red truck, and then the, the ocean. And they kind of go together. <laughs> I'll have to put them side by side in the book. I think they kind of go together a little bit. They're made with a lot of the same fibers. I use the same yarn in the sky. And this is the one that has the eagle in it. Remember the eagle? the eagle story and he he went down and picked up a fish out of the river and he's going to take it back to the nest mm -hmm. i have had so much fun doing these every, every one of them and i can do one in a in a day or two a couple days depending on the time i start i suppose but uh I have I've just I've just really like doing it. So I I think uh if I don't do you know if I get into any other art projects I'm I'll probably be doing some of this you know in my spare time. Yes, I see Cheryl. I see you Cheryl. Are you live? Sometimes the, uh, the, you have to touch that live button to be up on current on the video. Thank you, Cheryl. So anyway, these will go in my fabric journal. And I think I'll probably put these in there too. Might as well. Even though I did them a couple years ago. But I did these a long time ago. And, and, uh. And I think that's why I've improved. I think I've improved, you know, from this days. And uh, and I've just, I have just really, really enjoyed it. So these will go in the uh, fabric journal. But I just did a basic tree and and a and a kid, a childish tree you know and now i'm going into details you know <coughs> good good cheryl 
but I really like the uh, the scarf. And I did a scarf. The first scarf I did, I gave it away. I had a drawing for it, and uh, <clears throat> I mailed it out. The exact, the very next day, it went out in the mail, and she still hasn't gotten it. Now, I don't know how long it's been since I I made the scarf. Has it been two weeks? <clears throat> so I hope I hope it didn't get lost in the mail. <laughs> but if I did, I'll make her another one. It was pretty too. It was my first one. So um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna have to, you know. <clears throat> I mean, there's, it's endless possibilities of things that you can felt. <clears throat> so, uh, and I know that this tree doesn't have anything on it, in, the, but I'm going to have to put some green on it. <laughs> I just can't put that a naked tree on here and leave it. I got to have a little greenery. Yeah, yeah, I know the packaging. You just have to be thankful that we have a little bit of postal service. I don't know what to do about them. when I put things when I send things snail mail slow the slowest mail you know I don't have any insurance on it now if I pay money if I put extra money on it and have tracking on it I can you know get it insured but when it's just craft supplies I just have a hard time insuring insurance Stuff that's not that valuable, you know. It's just, it's more sentimental than valuable. Yeah, I got some coffee. hard tonight <laughs> you've all worked me you've worked me hard it's been good I was trying to give this a a dark look like an evening time shadows
<laughs> yeah, I'm getting hoarse. <clears throat> I'll survive. <laughs> I want to do a little bit more on this tree. It's really fun. I really love putting the fibers down and different textures. And I've got, you know, I'm, I've had this wool for two years and I've never really got to use, use it to its potential usage. Some of the wools that I have and uh, some of the collars and stuff. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm glad I have them to use, and, and I'm glad I'm getting to use them, finally getting to use them. And I kept telling myself, as soon as January is over with, I'm going to take an inventory of all my, my wool and, uh, and see what I'm getting low in and maybe get an order ready. But everything that I learned about felting, I learned it on YouTube. Every bit of it. I, I don't even remember who I saw do it first. And, um, and then I found some more videos. And I found some more girls to watch that were doing it. And then, and then this time, I have felt, I found... Uh, I found a guy that does it and he was showing me how to do wet felting with it and he had these paddles and it was a big round disc with a handle on it and the disc on the bottom was uh, curvy and lumpy like a texture on it it was made out of wood and it looked like it had like little diamonds on it or little bubbles on it or something and uh and and he used used it to felt his fabric, and uh, and that's when I discovered the the bubble wrap. And a lot of the girls were using the bubble wrap to do the wet felting, and I like the bubble wrap the best. I I, I don't have a paddle, but um, I don't think I need one because the bubble wrap's on the bottom and on the top, and you're rubbing it and you're getting double double rubbage. <laughs> That sounded funny. And uh, you're felting both sides at the same time. So I kind of like the bubble wrap. I think it's the easiest and the most inexpensive way to do it. And uh, and I'm all about the frugal. I am all about frugalness. <coughs> so now we're this is looking like an old tree now. A big old hickory tree. Yeah, there's a lot of different, you know, things that you can get. Uh, and I have I have a lot of stuff <clears throat> but the main thing is the is the is the sponge and the needle you know that's the main thing
So anyway, <clears throat> I was getting ready to watch a video uh, earlier today, but didn't get to watch it. <clears throat> and I was very, very, very interested in it. And uh, this uh, gentleman was on and he was in, he was doing a class. And it was a video and he was making rainbow clay uh, was kind of a nickname for it. And what it is, <clears throat> you know how you have polymer clay and how you can make de uh, designs uh, and they're called canes and they're tubes of where you've packed. The, the clay in a certain way and you roll it and then when you slice it there's a picture on the end of it and it's called a cane and it's it's in it's popular in polymer clay and jewelry and beads and um <clears throat> and i do have some cane beads uh in my possession but uh but anyway with uh the the ceramic clay there are very few things that you can add to it to change the actual color of the clay and i have done this before with a with a white clay and a terracotta clay and you um I took two pieces, two collars, and I put them together, and I kneaded the clay together until it became a swirl, and then I stopped kneading it, and I threw it on the on the wheel, and I made a pot, and the you could see the 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 rainbow effect of it on the outside of the clay, and when you but when you fired it up the first time, which was the buff the buff firing, when it becomes bisque. Well, that showed the striations in the, both of the clays, the white clay and the terracotta clay. And you can actually see the swirls in the clay when I molded the, pot, the, the bowl. And then on that particular pot, you don't have to paint it. You would just put a clear glaze on it and then fire it the second time to make it ceramic. When it's bisque, it has no shininess to it it's not a ceramic yet when it's bisque that's the first firing and it still has a rough texture to it and then when you put the glaze on it and on that particular bowl i used a clear glaze it became real shiny like a bowl like you would buy that you would use in the kitchen and it was it became a ceramic after I fired it the second time with that clear glaze on it. And anyway, I like doing different things. And uh, so I'll get to watch that tomorrow. <laughs> I give me something to look forward to tomorrow. But there's so many different things that you can do with uh, pottery and clay and. Uh, And there's there's a lot to it because some some clays are fired to a certain temperature and then other clays are fired to a higher temperature and so forth. So you've got different levels of clay that use different levels of heat. And the same thing with your glazes. There's low firing glazes and high firing glazes. And um you have to put the right glaze on the right clay or you'll it'll ruin it or you'll you'll break it or it'll won't fire right it won't work right if you put a high firing clay and a low firing glaze on it it's not going to it's not going to match up <laughs> and you get consequences that way Oh, felting tools. Okay. On Etsy. All right. Let's see. <coughs> I 
I love you. I love y'all. I love all of y'all. <laughs> that was the first thing that came on. Felting tools. Yeah, I've been looking for one of these little bamboo things. Uh, it's a placemat. And I've been looking for one at the secondhand store. <laughs> I'm not going to pay $7 for it. But there, it's just a placemat. And I have seen it. My grandmother used to have those placemats. Yeah, you made a cane out of polymer clay. Okay, I know what you did. Yeah. Okay, so there's one. What else? I've got the hand tool. I've got that. It's a, uh, it's eight dollars on on uh, Walmart.com. It's twelve ninety nine here, and on Walmart.com, I think I paid uh, I paid fourteen dollars with forty percent off. So I paid about eleven dollars or twelve dollars for this from Hobby Lobby with my coupon. But on Walmart, they've got it for eight. Um. If you go to Walmart.com, they really, I really like Walmart.com. Uh, and they've got some sister stores that <clears throat> are affiliated with the online shopping. And uh, this is a, a bulb. It's a water bulb. It's a, it's a, it's a, you squeeze it like a sir, syringe in your water and you spray it on your, thing on your wet felting and I just use a water bottle with the holes in it okay you don't need that thing I'm sorry <laughs> I don't mean to be rude but some of this stuff's pretty crazy I'm using a water bottle uh here are some tools some wooden things <clears throat> and I've seen those being used and those are pretty cool pretty nice uh and I've managed so far, I've managed without those. And I'm thinking <clears throat> that we might be able to substitute some of those things with some of the things that we have. Like we've got um, the wooden sticks, the, the popsicle sticks and things like that. If you were to take a couple of your sticks and put them together and and wax them up real good. So you, when you wrapped anything around it, you can slide it off. You could use popsicle sticks for that. I mean, you don't have to have uh, those distinctive things. They've got needles. A bending board. Felting tools. And this is like a little rolling pin. And it's got those little knobbies on it. So you can roll over as you do wet felting. Instead of using your arms. And here's one of those uh, other felting tools with the nubbies on the bottom of it. And you roll and you rub it on top of your bubble like I do the bubble wrap. I've got the bubble wrap so I bypassed that. The mesh, the gauze, I've got that. You don't, I mean, you, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not that fancy yet, I guess. These are pretty cool needles and they are they're uh, they've got little handles on them. Those are nice. Those are probably really really nice. Wool, 4 ounces of of wool for $8. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to compare that to mohair and more i'm not sure four ounces um i'd have to look that one up not sure not sure what does my bag say my bag of wool I don't remember. I'd have to look that one up. I'm not sure if that's a good buy or not. It might be. It might not be. I'm not sure. So, uh, 
Yeah, there's a lot of wooden tools and things and gadgets and gizmos. And, but I still like this thing right here. This is my favorite tool right there. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on here. But, I, you know, I'm doing okay without it, anything extra. They got the felting cushions. You know, there's the felting cushions. <clears throat> Those are nice. But, you know, I made mine and it was free. Bye, Joyce. Yeah, I, I think everything that I've been teaching you all to get and to use uh, has been very economical you just need a sponge and you need a couple pieces of felt you know those felt squares that you get that are like this at from walmart that are 30 cents a piece three for a dollar you know this is this is all you need this is all you need with the little with a little bit of wool on the side to make a scenery you know i think i've been i think i've been trying to to lead you all into a frugal manner. I don't. Uh, there's been a few people that have bought some more stuff. Because they're doing it. You know. They're really getting into it. So that's good. And like I said. I've had my wool for a couple years. And I've been doing it a while. And I knew that I liked it. So that's why I invested, you know, a small fortune in the wool. But uh, I bought it at discounts and sale prices. And uh, and the wool, um, the more you buy, the, the cheaper it gets on the wool. Uh, one ounce versus four ounces. Uh so you just have to look into it, you know, look at it in that aspect. If you want to, if you're really interested in doing the hobby, then you have to save your allowance for it, you know. <laughs> yeah, my opinion. But everything that I've started you out with, the very basics, has been a good lead, you know. And I think uh, that has introduced it to you. And it has gotten you to do a little hard, you know, do do a little, do encourage you to do a little figurine or a little scenery. And it doesn't have to be real, real big. And uh, I think that uh, I've showed a lot of different, ex different things to show you about it. Um like my carding brushes, my carding brushes were a dollar a piece at the dollar store. They were cat brushes, and I love my carding. My carding brushes are fine. I love them. They work perfectly for me. Now, if I was going to do it professionally, I may want to invest in the real McCoys. You know, I, you know, but or if I were to were to find some at an antique shop somewhere, you know. I might invest, you know, because I like the whole hobby of it all. You know, I might invest in some carding brushes, but I'm not looking for any, <laughs> you know, and I, I actually probably wouldn't do it. I, I think my my cat brushes are just fine. I, I, I'm not dissatisfied with them. So uh, I like everything that we've been doing and and. Uh, and I guess that's all that matters, you know, if we like what we're doing. You can't go wrong with what that, with any of that. So anyway, guys, I'm going to have to get off of here and uh, go check out the house and see what's going on out there. I've still got company. They're, uh, I've got some friends and they're getting ready to leave in the morning. They're going to Costa Rica for a missionary trip. So, uh, I think that's about it for me tonight. But I can, I'll work on this again 
with you on Saturday. And uh, I've kept it steady. There's 13 of you. There's usually been about anywhere from 10 to 10 to 20 in here tonight. So I've had a good crowd. <coughs> You're welcome. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun. I think I a lot of interest. People were interested tonight. I like it when everybody's interested. I get excited. No, I don't get excited. No, not me. <laughs> I'm liking my tree, but I'm still going to have to put some green on it. <laughs> Good night, Suzanne. I'll see you guys on Saturday, if not before in the chat room somewhere. <coughs> so, uh, the tree looks good, but I want leaves on it. So, I got to put some leaves on it. see what they did in the original picture the dark the, the background was a little bit darker I guess I tried <laughs> it still looks good so anyway guys thank you for hanging out with me <clears throat> Hi, Colleen. Have you been hiding in the background, Colleen? <laughs> Good. So, guys, hugs all around. I love you. And I will see you Saturday. I'll be back. And we still have a couple of more days before Jan before January is over with. So I guess we'll still continue to felt. <laughs> I'll think of something else to felt. <laughs> and uh, I've got a lot of pages in that fabric journal I can fill up. So that won't be a problem. Uh, we've done figurines. Uh, we've done <clears throat> we've done cookie cutters. Uh, we've done mice, we've done angels. If you all can think of anything else that you'd like to see felted, uh, holler at me and I might, I might be able to try to swing it and do it Saturday. Uh, if not, we, I'm going to finish this one and, uh, <clears throat> maybe I can, maybe I can show you how I'm going to stitch them in my fabric journal. Um. Uh, I'm going to get my embroidery book, an embroidery book tomorrow from Mothers, and um, and it's got all kinds of samplers in it in the book to sample how to do stitchery and stuff, and uh, different types of stitches and stuff. I thought it would be cute to to uh, embroidery each side in a different stitch. You know, like a blanket stitch and then a whip stitch and then a back stitch and whatever. And there's all kinds of stitches. If you've ever seen a uh, crazy quilt, you've got lots and lots of different stitches on a crazy, a true crazy quilt. Because you've got the the ones that look like crow's feet and... <laughs> yeah, we could... If we do some dogs, I can felt some dogs. Maybe I can fill the doggy on here. Okay. Maybe we, we'll get uh, Artie. I'll get Artie in here. I can fill Artie. Yeah. I've got all kinds of browns. I can do Artie. And make his, and make his, uh, his fur on his face. I'd love to do that. That would be fun. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I, I just got that name tonight, Janice. Uh, I've got it written down. Dances, dances with pit bulls, Rebecca. I'm going to look her up. I've never, I've never seen her, so that'd be great. Okay. Uh, 
we yeah we can felt we can felt and put some felting in there and we can do some i can do some dogs on here too we could do bows <laughs> sure so anyway guys i'm going to hang up so i'll see you all all in the chat room somewhere so you all have a good evening. <laughs> good night. Thank you.